Uh, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, this, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Hold on to your butt. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean. I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Sean, it's, it's me. I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? We're leaving this place. Together, okay? Okay, Sean? What's going on? Father? Father! Uh, 
I'll kill them for this. All of them. I don't know you. Go away. Father. Father, help me. There's someone here. Help me. Damn it. Sean, open the door. Father? Father, help me. She's trying to take me. Father? Father, help me. Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I want answers, asshole. Now! Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. Bullshit! Is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth? Think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod, and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am, raised by the Institute, and now it's later. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Yeah, you lost me. I don't see the point of any of this. You don't see the connection. Let me try to explain. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to... Sh but then the inst... I was exactly what... Uh -huh. I am there for. I don't believe you. There's no way any of this is true. I wish there was something to say. I know this isn't what you wanted. But it's the only truth I can offer you. You're my son, 
Then prove it. Now. I've already told you how I came to be here. I don't know what further proof I can offer that would convince you. I've shown you my trust. Your weapons haven't been confiscated, and I stand unarmed before you. Please, let's just talk. All right. Let's talk then. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Dear father, he never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad we see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? I won't be a part of this. I can't. Why? Because of the reputation of the Institute. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. Your Institute has done some horrible things. Yes, well... The world is not what it used to be. What about the people you've aided in order to get... Sure. ...these Minutemen? None have any true claim to nobility in this world. I simply ask that you give the... We really do have human... Mm -hmm. Will you take that chance? I'm sorry. I can't do that. I'm sorry to hear that. I had certainly hoped we could work together. Uh -huh. Understand, though, that I... You may have safe passage back to... Uh -huh. I am sorry. I must think the elevator will return you to the relay. Sensor anomaly detected. Stealth capabilities. Fascinating.
Heads up. You know, you look like you could really use this. These things have literally saved my life. Here's that holotape you gave me. Full of Institute data. I hope. Well, all right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. We need a way to bring the fight to them. Let's hope we got something we can use. Well, they sure aren't gonna fall for that teleport hijacker trick twice. Even if it wasn't a smoking pile of scrap metal. <sighs> all the good stuff on here is gonna be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. I've made my choice. The Institute is now our enemy. I always knew that day was coming. The question now is, what are we gonna do about them? I say we attack. Take the fight to the Institute. I'm all for that, but we don't have any way to hit them yet. With any luck, Sturgis will find some way in all that data you swiped. In the meantime, we can focus on building up our strength while Sturgis is working his end. No half measures. This time, when we attack, we finish the job, once and for all. I've got something for you to do right now, actually. Here's where they are. I hope you can help them. We've got to show people they can count on the Minutemen again. What'd they use you for? I think someone was using this as a trash can.
call a good day. One that ends without an empty stomach. What's going on? Always was a little jealous of folks who could craft something other than a paragraph. <laughs> 